I want to touch on this Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson talk about fight. I believe it's going to take place in somewhere in Texas, ATM Stadium, November 15, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But if I'm wrong, you can correct me down in the comment section. I saw an interview with Mike Tyson. I believe it's on Fox or some one of those mainstream media. And Mike Tyson is saying that it's not like an exhibition fight. It's going to be a real fight. And they're not going to fight in any headgears. Guys, let me say this right now. From the get-go, from the jump. If that fight do take place, and what Mike Tyson said is not an exhibition and he's not going to fight in any headgears, I'm telling you right now, Jake Paul is going to end Mike Tyson life. Yes, I said it. And when I said end Mike Tyson life, I am dead serious. And if Jake Paul don't end Mike Tyson life, Mike Tyson is going to suffer some serious, 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 serious damage after that fight. If Jake Paul catch Mike Tyson with one of those wild swinging punch that he catch in all those MMA, MMA fighters that he fought, Mike Tyson will never be the same again. Why Mike Tyson? Why Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul? Why? Tell me why. Mike Tyson is 58 years old. What Mike what Mike Tyson is doing inside a boxing ring at this stage of his career? You're telling me that Mike Tyson is broke? Because for Mike Tyson to step into the ring with a Jake Paul, I know that Jake Paul is not a boxer, but guys, father time, when father time comes, certain things that he used to do, you cannot do it anymore. And I can testify to that. I am way, way younger than Mike Tyson. And guys, sometimes it's a struggle for me to tie my shoes lace. Something that back in the days is no problem for me to do. And I am not a fat person. I am not overweight. I live a healthy lifestyle. But guys, when you're growing up in age, there are certain things you used to do. You're not going to have enough to do it again. So for Mike Tyson, at age 58, step in the ring with a young 20-something year old guy. I don't know Jake Paul age because I said I don't follow him like that. It must be some financial reason. It have to be some money problem. It have to be some money problem Mike Tyson have. I mean, he cannot miss the sport so, much, so badly that he's going to put his life at risk by fighting with a Jake Paul. Jake Paul can punch. He might not be, he might not a good boxer, not a boxer, none at all, but that boy can punch. And one punch, if he connect with one of those punch and Mike Tyson, he gonna end Mike Tyson life. When I said end Mike Tyson life, I mean hang, hang his life for real, for real. You know, I repeat that, say, that's, I repeat that twice now in this video. I mean it, guys, and I strongly believe that Jake Paul gonna kill Mike Tyson in that ring. Literally kill Mike Tyson. I'm telling you, I'm putting put him in some form of coma for, for months. My, you know that Mike Tyson make sixty million dollars to fight Oldfield in those two fights. 1996, Mike Tyson make 30 million dollars to fight Oldfield, and 1997, Mike Tyson make another 30 million dollars to fight Oldfield. You know that the pound for pound number one best fighter in the world right now, Terence Crawford, when he signed with Bob Aaron for years, he was making 30, um, 3 million dollar guarantee for a fight. We are talking about 1996, you know, guys, over. Probably 27, 28 years ago that, you know, guys, Mike Tyson was making $30 million. Terence Crawford and Errol Spence just fought the other day gone for an undisputed match. And they make $25 million apiece. And Mike Tyson was making $30 million 28 years ago. So what Mike Tyson do with all those money? That he, that he want to fight 
what my I'm talking about just two fights, you know, guys, in 1996, you know. The man makes 60 million dollars to fight two fight only. I you know Mike Tyson used to fight like every two months, every three months. So where Mike Tyson do with all of those money? Where? Where Mike Tyson do with all of those money? That Mike Tyson have the need to go in the ring with Jake Paul, to fight Jake Paul, to fight a YouTubers. A YouTubers like Jake Paul. That's what's wrong with boxing. <laughs> That's what's wrong with boxing. I mean, I'm not lying, guys. Sometimes it tempted to just play the game what these guys are playing. Because these boxing fans, <laughs> these boxing fans, I'm not talking about the real boxing fan, but these casual boxing fans, they don't believe in the truth. They just want to hear some gimmicks and some gossip. And trust me, if you check the, those gossip channel, check those gossip channel that lie and shit and black people and all those things. Check their views. Look how much views they have on their videos. And just check the one them that the solid brothers and sisters out here that speaking the truth about boxing. And check their views. Check our views. Or little, or just a little bit of views we get on our, our videos. And if we, if, we have, if we go out there and, you know, talk all those bullshit that most of these content creators talk, talking, we will get a lot of views on our channel. But I can't do it. I don't, I don't care if every YouTuber is doing it. But I cannot do it. That's not in my nature. That's not in my nature. Just imagine... Jake Paul knock out the great, 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 great Mike Tyson and stand up over Mike Tyson with his, with his hand raised. That image gonna be on the internet forever. Because guys, one thing. You see the internet? The internet is undefeated. <laughs> the internet is undefeated. And that is the image that they want to see. A white boy stand up over a monster like a Mike Tyson with his hand raised. You think that they're gonna talk? Oh, Mike Tyson was 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 58. No, I'm not gonna say that. They only want to see that image. Jake Paul raises his hand 